political scenario has seen top brass leaders clash against each other in recent time. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has taken major decisions within his party, while opposing factions have not hesitated in mincing heavy words against the Premier, calling his modus operandi unilateral. Meanwhile, an all-party meeting was called by the President to collectively address the changing political dynamics of the country. Good morning, I am Bipashna Tamang and these are the headlines of the hour. President Vidyadevi Pandari calls an all-party meeting. Prime Minister only hints at dissolving the parliament once again to seek a fresh mandate. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma only warns of actions against party cadres who will attend the nationwide gathering called by the Nepal faction. Leaders of Nepal faction say they are ready to face consequences. Europe divided over the use of the vaccine against COVID-19 developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca. Most European nations call for more clarification on vaccine safety. And Real Madrid storms into Champions League quarterfinals with an aggregate 4-1 win over Atlanta. Manchester City also through to last eight. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has hinted at dissolving the parliament once again to seek a fresh public mandate. In an all-party meeting called by President Pitadevi Pandari, Prime Minister Oli said dissolving the parliament and going for elections would be necessary if hindrances were posed for the current parliament. The Premier also defended the dissolution of the lower house on 28th of December, three months ago. Meanwhile, Chairman of CPN Maoist Pushpa Kamal Dahal said the ongoing problems should be resolved through the current parliament. Chairman of Rashtriya Prajatantra Party Prakash Chandra Lohani informed that the leaders of other parties also backed the Hal's opinion. Earlier when the meeting commenced, President Bidya Devi Pandari defended her decisions, saying that they were carried out as per the government's recommendation and were in line with the constitution. The president cited it was her constitutional obligation to follow the government's recommendation. The dissident faction of the ruling party, CPN UML, including senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal and Chalanath Kanal, abstained the all-party meeting. CPN UML chairman and Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has warned the party cadres to face the consequences if they attended the nationwide assembly called by the faction led by senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal. Nepal-led faction is preparing for a two-day national gathering scheduled to kick off today. The Premier hosted a tea reception yesterday afternoon at his official residence in Banwatar, saying that he will keep a close eye on the gathering called by the Nepal faction and instructed leaders and cadres of his party not to participate in the meet. Premier Oli also warned that no one had the right to act on their own discretion without the party claiming that the recent parliamentary activities had justified the dissolution of the House of Representatives. Prime Minister Oli alleged the House Speaker of acting biasedly. Leaders and cadres of the Nepal faction, meanwhile, boycotted the tea reception held by the Premier. The inter-party conflict within the CPN-UML further deepened following the Supreme Court verdict that revived CPN-UML and cpn Mao Centre as separate parties. The dispute intensified after Prime Minister Oli took decision single-handedly last Friday to amend the party statute that led to the addition of Central Committee members. The CPN QML faction led by the senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal has accused Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli of exhibiting high-handedness and crossing his jurisdiction. Speaking at an event held in the capital a day ahead of the Nepal faction's nationwide assembly, leader Yogesh Padrai said that Premier Oli had displayed high-handedness by threatening them of consequences. Padrai added they were ready to face any action and said that the party would remain divided unless Premier Oli re retracted his unilateral decisions. Likewise, leader Surendra Pandey held a Prime Minister Oli responsible for dividing the party as his plan to dissolve the lower house could not materialize. The Nepal faction, meanwhile, has geared up to establish nationwide parallel committees. Welcome back. 
Nepal Rastra Bank published a report yesterday based on which Nepal's remittance has increased by 11% to reach 567.70 billion rupees in the first seven months of the current fiscal year. This is despite a significant decline in the number of people going abroad for employment. Based on the economic and financial status report by the central bank, the number of Nepali migrant workers going abroad has declined by almost 76 percent in the first seven months of the current fiscal year. Meanwhile, a rise in import has affected the current amount that bore a deficit of over 100 billion rupees. During the review period, Nepal imported more than more of a rice, a soybean oil, gold, telecommunication equipment and spare parts, while exports stood at 70 billion rupees. The balance of payment, meanwhile, registered a surplus of almost 100 billion rupees as compared to a surplus of 21.61 billion rupees in the same period of last year. The foreign exchange reserves increased to 1,462.03 billion rupees in the first seven months of the current fiscal year, which is 61 billion rupees more than end of the last fiscal year. In our public voice segment, we had asked the locals in Rukum West what is the reason behind the growing tension within the political parties. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. Party with three good bandits. The party with three Afna Mansio like Mati Pudelson, Afna Patica Mansio like Mati Mati Pudelson, of a pounded a pounded a pound, a pounded a bureau. Afili Kumloni, Afili Kamoni, Bidis Lagani Garni, Bidis Maragni, Perregasan, Nita Vandarle, in your Lani, Bolizan Tamazanu for Lani, a board magazine for La Bonipani at China, just to get Afno Softico Lagi Lodiran. Neta Sabana Tulumayo Vani. Person July Bintei, KP July Bintei, Madab July Bintei, Jalan July Bintei, Deovala Bintei. Time now for our segment Public Pulse Ray text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. And here's the question What's your take on the lack of proper public toilets in urban areas? Your options are option A, lack of development vision, option B, lack of maintenance, and option C, obstruction from locals. The voting is on type NEWS. Select your option A, B, or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And that's all for the moment. Our next English bulletin will be at 11 this morning. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.